Thank you for watching another episode of 7.3 liter truck stuff. So why is it so dark? Because in today's episode, we're getting rid of this nasty, nasty. Look at that nasty. <laughs> it's a great truck, but there's some updating that needs to be done. And this soft white Christmas slide action that, uh, that these trucks have uh, as, as OEM has got to go. So we went ahead and uh, bought some LED lights, an LED kit specific for this make and model. And we're going to turn all this nastiness into updated solid LED lighting. For a quick and easy win and uh, a nice updating in this door jam here of the car door, just a flathead screwdriver, pop off that lens, try not to drop it on the ground. And inside is an incandescent bulb. It is as simple as reaching in, pulling it out, and take one of the new LED lights, and this is the old fixture, and simply place it in, in the housing like before. Press, press, press. If she doesn't come on like that, chances are the polarity is wrong. Pull it out, flip it over, put it in, done. Take the lens, long side in, snap. And what a significant difference that makes in a flash. In the back seat, you've got this nasty light. The flathead screwdriver up here pops this off, and you're left with <laughs> a ton of cobwebs and this old incandescent bulb. We're going to pop that out and put a new one in. Now that this face plate is off, there's a couple uh, Phillips head screwdrivers that going to allow us to take off the assembly to be able to get to those map lights as well. With the assembly now off, You can see what the roof looks like. Now that the housing is down from the uh, roof of the vehicle, you get an opportunity to see where the map lights are. Applying pressure here will release the tabs. Look how singed the housing plate is after 18 years of those standard light bulbs. As you would expect, just using the uh, tab remover the light bulb remover that came with the kit, pulling up, will pull out the old bulb and simply take the new bulb, with the lights facing in the proper direction, and it snaps right into place. Do keep in mind that there are polarity issues with this, so if it doesn't work the first time, just flipping the LED lights will more than likely fix the problem get the polarization set. And uh, I learned that they really need to be cinched down and uh, you definitely have to take those old tabs that hit the positive and negative terminals of the, the, uh, the new light bulbs, maybe squeeze them together a little bit. But at this point we are done. We're gonna put the cover back on and the uh, rear light set is, is complete. With the help of some of the backlighting of our new LEDs, this is the front light. So just like before, flathead screwdriver into this notch right here and we remove this plate. We 
which is somewhat difficult to do from sitting in the back seat in between two child safety seats. And dog food. <laughs> <laughs> what we're left with inside again are uh, three to four screws that will allow us to drop off the assembly and get to these map lights in here. It's nasty, nasty, dirty map lights and get some cool LED ones. I know it's difficult to have a before and after, but there is a substantial difference having the new LEDs placed in both the interior and on the door. Uh, it modernizes the way the vehicle just looks and feels even from a distance. And uh, yeah, it's not, <laughs> it's not like turning on grandma's Christmas tree with the soft glow anymore and the the scent of burnt plastic over 18 years when the incandescent bulbs are burning through the plastic housing. Uh, the LEDs are sharp, they're crisp, um, they're low energy usage, so potentially even less tall on the two massive batteries that are on this. Wanted to show you guys how bright it was in this cab, just with the map lights now. The interior lights off, those are just the four map lights and uh, again, it is, it is considerably nicer, brighter, crisper. It just, it's, yeah, it's good to go. Yeah, it's, that's, it's an easy job for a pretty high impact day-to-day, uh, day-to-day, -day nighttime driving. That's cool. Here's a tag light. And all it takes is a flathead screwdriver pop this portion off right here and the incandescent bulb just pulls right out <laughs> I made a major mistake <laughs> all right it wasn't major here's the deal he's a mastiff I took the tag light housing out and when you look at this piece right here, you can see that cutout. That makes you think that you are supposed to put a flathead or something along those lines in there in order to pop this puppy out. And the reality behind it is you don't. You don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Here's why. This is the tag light. This is the housing behind it they're not supposed to pop off from each other. The light bulb very easily slips in there, half a click, and it's in. Much like me, other people as well have seen that notch, and the thought process is, this pops off. Oh, look at all the glue from someone else who made the same mistake somewhere between now and the past 18 years. This is just a lousy design. The bottom line is this, you have to take this back piece and you got to marry it all up again and the notches fit and then it actually clicks in so do not pull this piece off of the tailgate do not i say again do not pull this piece off of the tailgate leave it on come in from behind half a click pull out the bulb swap it click it back in call it good it's cold it's early i ate mornings Let's fix this problem. These guys are now glued together. And what I've done is put the LED lights into the light housing. And I'm gonna to check to make sure the polarization's good and they both light up. And then I'm gonna put them in the housing. And we'll call this good. And this is why we check. One lit up, one didn't. So come over here and with one hand Flip this around, just flipping it upside down from what the position it was in, and we both light up. So, that's half the battle. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, let's take this housing, put it in here. And we've locked in. locked in the light 
behind this tag light housing. There's a small tab here and a thicker tab here, which that corresponds to the small and thicker holes. And they should just snap right in. Voila. All right. One more time, we'll see where it goes. And we are cooking with gas. Even though it's early in the morning, I can tell those lights are super bright and super crisp, like the interior lights. And nothing for nothing. But at least the uh, tailgate rear portion of the truck has some solid lighting and looks professionally done. Quick follow up to the LED installs on the 7.3. So as I started losing light, I recognized that the engine bay didn't have a light um, at all. And I had done the fabric install and didn't realize that there was no light bulb. So I looked on YouTube and realized that there actually wasn't any videos on installing a light bulb uh, onto the hood. So I took a stab at putting an LED light right here and for a fleeting moment, I had phenomenal light and then promptly blew a 10, a 10 fuse. So uh, a drive over to AutoZone taught me this lesson, disconnect the batteries. And then what ended up happening is after I bought a whole nice new fuse kit and properly installed this LED, I have phenomenal lighting in the engine bay now. So my suggestion is, don't forget that light bulb either. That LED light looks phenomenal. Even in the middle of the day, this thing is super bright. It's awesome. Well, all right, this wraps up another episode of 7.3 liter truck stuff. Uh, take a moment to uh, smash that subscribe button, crush the like button, I appreciate it. If you're debating on hitting the uh, dislike, don't do it, don't do it. You know who you are, just walk away. Just let it go. <laughs> hey, uh, all kidding aside, I appreciate all the support and uh, see you next time.